Hi, welcome again. Today I'm really happy to announce a new plugin called Terrain Magic. So basically with that you can speed up a lot of things in the Unreal Engine landscape workflow. Let me show you a simple demo. So then after that we are gonna start from scratch. Right, first uh, we have a landscape over here. So it's uh, created using height map. But height map is imported using this actor. We call it a landscape brush. That's how we created this landscape using height map. You can see over here. So I can do some post processing here as well. For example, I have already applied some saturation over here. I can remove that. And also I did some uh, remapping as well. I can remove that as well. So now you can see the original height map, but I don't like the hole in this uh, landscape. You can simply fix that inside the engine like this. For example, here I can uh, do some saturation to this height map. Let's say about three times, all right? And then now you can see something like this. Let me change the sun position a little bit, all right? Like this. And then uh, it's quite high right now, but I can do some remapping and I, I can reduce that. I'll talk more about this in a moment, but I'm gonna give you some sneak peek of this tool. So that's about the height map. And also you can see a sand area over here. So it's created using procedurally. For example, here I have this uh, actor over here. I can change this position. You can see it will move this sand area, but you can see it's not actually about the position, but it's, it's also using the height information and normal information to paint the sand area. So so let me show you. Here we have some sort of mask. Uh, here we have a height mask, normal mask and location mask. I can uh, remove the location mask and then I can remove the normal mask. So it will apply the height only. You can see this. And then uh, let me uh, turn off the height mask and I can uh, bring the normal mask. So basically it will create a mask using the normal information. And after that, we can simply merge these uh, masks together and create something interesting. So I'll talk more about this in a moment. And also we can uh, simply change the height maps or like paint layers. So let me show you how to do that. It's quite easy. And here from the height brush, I'm going to change the height map into something else. Here the Terrain Magic, we comes with a couple of height maps. I'm going to change this height map into something different. Simply drag the height map over here. Now you can see a now different landscape. So basically a change in the height map is quite easy and you can always do post processing and you can try out things quite uh, quite easily. Also you can change the mid brush into some custom paint layer map as well. For example here we have a flow map uh, or splat map uh, created using Houdini. I can simply drag that over here and I can enable the that mask. Now you can see this plate map is using for the texturing purpose. I can even do post processing for this as well. For example, I can increase the brightness a little bit. Right now you have a, like a like a sharp a sand area in my landscape. If you want this, of course you can use that. Also, you can use this uh, mask as a grass mask as well. For example, here we have grass on the ground, but you don't have the grass inside the sand area. And there's a pull up uh, section as well, and it's quite nice. All right, uh, let's try to create this from scratch so we can see how everything works. Right, first I'm gonna create a new level, file, new level, empty level. And I'm gonna save that, let's say it's called tutorial. Now the first thing is you need to get Terrain Magic into your project. You can simply check the description below and see how you can get it even for free. Then I'm gonna go to my content browser and here we have a settings icon and make sure you have click show engine content and show plugin content and then inside your content browser uh, search for terrain magic and then you have this terrain magic folder and you can see the content example content that we ship with the plugin so i'm going to use some of these things inside this tutorial and the first thing is we need some sort of sun and sky atmosphere and simply search for terrain magic content directory for sun sky and then we have blueprint like this, simply drag that into scene. So it will add a simple sun and sky setup so we can work with our project. Right, then you need to create a new landscape system. Go to landscape mode and uh, you need to create a landscape over here. And here you can uh, use any sort of landscape material. With Terrain Magic, we ship with a simple landscape material called Tiny Land. You can use that as well. You can simply drag the material instance over here. You can continue. But here, I'm going to use Open Land for this tutorial. The reason is I'm going to use some of the landscape related features comes with Open Land, and I'm going to show you how that works with Terrain Magic as well. But of course, you can use any sort of landscape material. See here. So, I'm going to use Open Land. I'm going to search for MI underscore Open Land and we have open land theme default and the important thing is you need to enable this 
enable edit layers option so that's a must otherwise this functionality won't work and then you can create a landscape i'm gonna use a 2k landscape for right now but of course you can change the size as you wish right then i'm gonna go to paint section and i'm gonna assign a auto layer first auto layer right then we have a ground layer like this okay then i'm gonna go to the select mode so yeah like this now i'm gonna add some brushes over here and we can uh, start uh, creating our landscape now go to your landscape section again go to sculpt and you can click this blueprint icon and here uh, you have a drop down and there you will be see some brushes over here terrain magic height brush and a weight brush so basically weight brush is related to paint layers so i'm gonna grab the height brush i'm gonna click on my landscape right now we have the brush over here i'm gonna do the same thing for my weight brush as well right now we have the weight brush on the landscape as well so i'm gonna go to the select mode again all right now we can create our landscape so here uh, you can use some external height map for right now but soon so you'll be able to create landscape right inside the engine using some sort of procedural noises and so on with terrain magic we come see some height maps you can go to terrain magic content height maps you can see some height maps over here and also you can bring any height map using a uh, world creator world machine and so on so now i'm going to click the height brush actor so in the details panel we have the custom height map I'm gonna simply drag this height map over here right now you can see a landscape instantly like this but as I showed you earlier I don't really like this hole I'm gonna do some post processing to this height map so here I am adding some saturation logic I'm gonna add three over here so basically we will uh, increase the uh, low area as well as the height high area so we will uh, get rid of the the hole like this I'm gonna remove the sun sky a little bit down so I don't see the fog over here and also I'm gonna change the sun position a little bit so we can see my landscape right now you can see my landscape is quite high I don't like uh, this sort of height uh, in my mountain here this height map has a range of 0 to 1 but in our Unreal Engine this uh, range is set into minus 1 to 1 and then we multiply this minus 1 and 1 range in with this 32,000 and that's how you get this height here in this landscape we start with minus 32,000 on the bottom and this on the top area snow area is plus 32,000 but in this landscape I'm gonna choose zero as my ground layer then in order to do that I, I can simply change the remapping uh, output mean to zero the range will be zero to one so Unreal Engine's range will be zero to one now you have something like this and then if, of course you can play with this value and see how how this works right about the height map i'm really happy with this so we can continue right now our idea is to create some sort of sand pit over this area close to my mountain range so we need to have some sort of sand area so let's create that so i'm going to select my weight brush and the first thing we see is a paint layer now we need to select a paint layer over here right let's open our landscape tool Go to our paint section i can choose any sort of paint layer over here but in order to get the best results you need to select the alpha layer so here i'm gonna select my sand alpha over here i'm gonna select a layer info file this is really important you need to select a layer info file in order to use this tool and also reason why we use alpha layers is because we are using the edit uh, landscape functionality edit layers functionality and it works really well with alpha layers so if you don't know about the alpha layers check the description below or you can check the documentation of your landscape material or system right now i can simply go to my select mode again so i can simply go to my weight brush and set the paint layer as sand alpha right now i'm going to test this functionality i'm going to go to the location mask section i'm going to enable the enable location mask and then i'm going to grab my actors over here now you can see we have the we have some sort of like a mask and we have some sand area on here i'm going to increase the radius a little bit all right uh, that's about right and also i'm going to increase the brightness of this little bit let's say but this is too much maybe i'm going to go with three yeah okay so i'm going to use the height information to make this little bit interesting and i'm going to remove the location mask temporary and then go to the height mask and i'm going to enable that so Variable is 0 to uh, 2000. I'm going to give a value like, let's say, minus 2000 to 2000. And maybe I'm going to increase the, yeah. Yeah, something like this. All right. I really like this. 
And the problem is now you can see uh, the uh, sand on the uh, other place as well. But it looks nice. But uh, in this case, I'm really interested about the uh, sand over this area close to the mountain. All right. So I, what I can do is I can simply uh, enable and mix dot height mask and my location mask. So here we can see sand over here and it's quite not natural. And let's try to fix that. So here again, I'm going to use a different mask. It's a normal mask. In order to try that, I'm going to disable this mask temporarily. So I don't have anything now. I'm going to enable the normal mask. Right. It will use some normal information uh, to create a mask. So I'm going to focus on my up direction and I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit. Let's say I'm going to put value like 100. You can see and it will try to select the flat areas a little bit and I can reduce this value to let's say 2 and you can see something like this. As you can see, you don't see the uh, the sand on the slope area. So you can simply invert this mask by clicking this normal mask invert. And all this uh, mask has an invert option. So now you, you simply select the slope area of your landscape. Here, I don't really need that. Also here, the contrast, I'm going to put value like 15. Then I'm going to enable the height mask as well. So now you have something like this. Okay, I think I'm going to increase the uh, normal contrast a little bit, maybe uh, reduce the normal contrast a little bit, about 30, maybe 12. Okay, finally, I'm going to enable the location mask and now we have something like this. All right, and that's how you can create a procedural mask into your landscape and simply uh, paint your landscape with that. All right, uh, let's try to add some grass. Here, you can use any sort of grass in your project. Here, I'm going to use some grass created with the one grass engine uh, project but of course again you can use any sort of grass system so here with open land we can simply add grass using this uh, open land grass directory and open my landscape grass file and if you're using a different uh, landscape material this would be a little bit different uh, and of course you will be using the unreal engines landscape grass system so you will always get a screen like this and then here i'm going to create a grass variant and then I'm gonna give it and I'm gonna search for a grass mesh then I know I have a grass called slender I'm gonna simply use that I'm gonna speed up this thing a little bit because my focus is not talk about how to use grass but I'm gonna show you how it works with terrain magic and call distance 5000 to 10,000 okay and the scale X it's a uniform scaling as 0 0.1 to 1 maybe 1.2 all right and I'm gonna hit save right then i go here now you can see grass in my ground okay pretty cool right now i can go to my uh, sand area and i can see grass on my sand area as well but i don't really need that i don't need grass in my sand area and let's try to remove that uh go to your landscape material paint section and here with open land we have a layer called remove grass so basically you can simply paint uh, this in your landscape and it will remove grass on this place and now we're going to use this paint layer in combination with our sand mask and if using a different landscape material the name of this layer could be different but almost all the landscape systems has a remove grass layer i'm going to right click over here select clear layer so yeah i don't want to remove grass over here i'm going to go to the select mode and then i'm going to open my wedge brush and here we have a paint layer and underneath that we have the additional paint layers i'm gonna click plus icon and i can type remove grass all right but i think you can see some grass here and there and the reason is our mask is not that high for example here you can see a lot of grass over here but if you go here you can see some grass here and there in some places you don't see uh, grass and the reason is this mask is not uh, one always uh, what you can do is quite easy uh, go to your this mask Maybe you can increase the uh, location mask brightness a little bit, like five. Yeah, you can play with these values. For example, I can set three. All right, so now I don't have grass over here, but in the edges, right, like this. All right, in this case, uh, I think 2.5 works really well, and uh, I really like it. So now we know how to uh, create a grass mask uh, along with this uh, paint layer as well. And yeah, it's good, quite good. Now I want to talk about something important about Terrain Magic. So it's not a completely new landscape system. It simply improved the existing landscape system. Because of that, you can use all the existing tools available for landscapes in Unreal Engine. Even some tools comes with plugins. 
I'm going to show you an example. And here with OpenLAN, we have a tool to use Megascan textures. So here we have widget like this, OpenLAN Megascan uh, tool. I'm going to run this run editor utility widget over here. In order to use that, I'm going to go to my landscape. And here I'm going to search for use dynamic material instance. So this is something we need to use this this widget, but it's not not nowhere related to terrain magic. So I'm going to show you how, how to use this tool. I'm going to select the sand area. I'm going to select a mega scan texture in my project. I'm going to, I'm going to simply select, select that and I can see it over here. So the whole idea is all the tools that you use can be used with terrain magic as well. Right. And another important uh, thing about terrain magic is you can easily iterate on ideas and try different things uh, like that. For example, let's say I really uh, don't like this height map. I need to use a completely different one. It's quite easy to do. All I have to do is uh, go to my height brush. I'm going to use a different height map. So I'm going to use a height maps in my terrain magic content directory, uh, height maps. And we have different height map over here. I'm going to simply drag that into my this height map slot. Voila. Now we have a different height map over here instantly. Then here I'm going to use some externally create weight map uh, to paint sand. So here I'm going to delete this uh, brush, weight brush. I'm going to create a new one. Landscape. Sculpt. Blueprint. Weight brush. Select one. And I'm going to select the paint layer as sand alpha. Alright. And I'm going to go to my texture map mask. I'm going to enable it. I'm going to drag this weight map over here. Right. Now we can see we have some sort of sand area using externally created map. I can increase the brightness a little bit. Maybe 2. Maybe 2.5. Right. Now I can do some post processing inside the engine as well. So I can go over here. Now you can see grass over here as well. And if you don't want to see grass over here, you can simply uh, click the additional paint layers. And as we did earlier, you can simply type remove grass. Right, you don't see grass over here. But I think uh, the thing is here, this uh, mask is not that strong. Uh, what I can do is, of course, you can increase the brightness a little bit as well. Yeah. You don't see grass over here. So basically you can play with these values and try to get what exactly you need. I think with Terra Magic you can speed up a lot of things in the Unreal Engine landscape workflow. And in up upcoming uh, versions we will be adding some cool features like uh, create landscape inside the engine using some sort of noises. And also you can uh, bring uh, satellite data and create landscapes inside the engine as well. And, and we're going to talk more about soon. Alright, uh, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.